this major pentatonic is very is a, a bit tricky to play and this lesson will be about playing this pentatonics as you know major pentatonics is um, related to minor pentatonics it's actually the same patterns but the root note is somewhere else like in this case i play the d major pentatonics <laughs> As you already can hear, this major pentatonic, that's the main problem with the major pentatonics. It sounds a bit, a little bit cheeky, or I don't know how you call that. Uh, a little bit Chinese, a little bit Japanese. Uh, nothing against Chinese and Japanese people or music, but um, to really spice up the major pentatonics, is, this is what the lesson is about. How you really can make any kind of major tune sounding great. Did you notice? This was the major pentatonics as well. And it sounded much like much more sophisticated or... And the way to mix a little bit up with uh, some uh, different scales or modes, and then you really can um, get some cool stuff together with the major pentatonics. And there are, I mean, there are many songs, <laughs> like 50% of all songs on this planet are <laughs> of kind of major tune. So it's good to know some tricks how to play major pentatonics. Even the, I mean, minor pentatonics is not a problem because the minor pentatonics itself. <laughs> This is not minor pentatonics. It itself sounds already pretty well and pretty sophisticated. And you could just can play and it sounds how it should. But the major pentatonics is something different. And this is what this lesson is about. On an example of a green tune of mine, I don't have a, na a name for it till now. It's, it's uh, really, it's, it's not even released now. But um, <laughs> we're checking it out because it's great because it's all, always, always on this D chord and you really can check it out, the major pentatonics and some tricks. So let's check it out. So um, first I'm going to play a little sequence together with the track that you have an idea how it sounds. I think um, I'm pretty sure you're going to love it and that you just get an idea and then we're going to get into explanations. <laughs> what I mean. How are you going to make the major pentatonics, which itself sounds pretty cheeky, <laughs> sound cool? There's a few tricks which I'm going to show to you. Of course, you need to know the major pentatonic patterns first. We are in D and we play on the, ma on the main pattern, it's this one here. Let's take out the delay. So... so. This is position one of the major pentatonics, position two of the major pen D, ma D major pentatonics, this one here. This 
these are the two main patterns which are used. You also add this one here up here, so we go a little. You can also switch up here if you want to go even up. So you also go to position three, but you mainly play in the two, these two positions which I showed. But of course, it's necessary that you need to know all all um, positions. So also the next one, the below one here. So if you want to go down. So this one is position five, is, since this one is position um, one, two, and so this must be five. Yeah. Pretty useful when you want to jump around the pentatonics. So now, what we do with this all this stuff? <coughs> Actually, it's very important that you know the root note here, root note here, root note here. So this is one of uh, the very basic um, uh, licks, which is useful. And I often use an open string as an additional note, so I make. It this is why it sounds pretty sophisticated. This is very good as a, a starting lick. And to keep it going further, make this big um, interval jump here. Root note, especially the fifth. This is the fifth, actually. The A here is the fifth. It's a very important note to um, because it sounds much better than when you keep it on the root. Because the root is more like uh, it's too common in the hearing. So if you if you switch on the fifth, it sounds much better. Or jump around the fifth. So this is the fifth. See now we have the fifth. Now we jump around the fifth. So tenth, twelfth, seven, ten. And now it doesn't sound so cheeky anymore. Let's check it out now. What I did now, I use the same lick on the high position. So we switch to the position. So you can use either the slide, or also with the open now the open B string. See, you can go up in the in the slide, or you can do whatever. Both works actually pretty fine. So let's check it out. Works pretty fun. And that was the next idea which we're using here. Double stop buddy, you know that one from uh, Jimi Hendrix. He used that one very often in his songs. So we have here the double stop here, tenth, ninth, and the and then resolve it on the root note. Very cool idea, by the way. And this is the connection between the high and the low position. And then you really have it now to keep it going. also can do when you work with double stops you also can I use them very often slide up here 
So we are on the 7, 9, 11. Slide up. And then here we are in the 10th fret. And And you can and then you switch to the other double step. Or in this double stop here, which is by the way the upper part of the D. Also try to work with this triad here. Because this is the upper part of D. So you also can work with this. Works very nice. Now you can go the upper part. want to finish a uh, phrase as I said before the fifth is very good note to, to rest so you you stay here on the seventh fret and resolve it here on the D very good idea for that so these were some some ideas with the major pentatonics uh, the way you can sound it pretty cool now we add some additional notes as if you want to give a little bit more of a bluesy feel into it then you you use this phrase here so when you have the root note the, 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 the second the interval the two here we have, three, we have a, a chromatic approach to the three now, if you have a little you want to have a little bit more bluesy stuff in it but still sound in a major tune you can do stuff like this. See, a little bit more bluesy. Or the high position, same thing. Same thing here, we have here the fifth, the sixth, and here we have the root note, the two, and here we have the chromatic approach to the triad. And now I made this little phrase. Very cool stuff.